In this video, I'm going to be talking about a topic that needs to be discussed urgently. Excuses. Everybody has them. Some people use it more to get out of situations than others. Some people don't. But bottom line is, everyone has them. Sometimes it's good to have excuses. Are you telling me that sign that says I-95 is not the speed limit? But the excuses I'm going to be talking about are the excuses that people use for when they need to exercise. And I've had it. I've come up with the five most common excuses that I've heard as to why people don't work out. And if one of these five excuses that you're about to hear you've used, well then my friend, you are guilty as charged. Excuse number one. I just don't have the time. And for those of you who use that excuse often, you're not being asked to do an Ironman marathon where you have to swim three miles, cycle halfway across the country, leave your bike there, and then run back home and expect to be home in time for dinner. The American Heart Association recommends 150 minutes of moderate activity a week. Folks, there are 10,000 minutes in a week. I find it hard to believe that people struggle to carve out 150 of those minutes to do some type of activity. Fine, take 50 minutes. 50 minutes is better than nada. Excuse number two. Oh, I'm just too tired. I don't feel like working out today. What are you going to do? Take a nap and hopefully when you wake up, you'll feel much better that you're going to work out? Chances are you're probably going to stay in bed. There are so many things in life that we have to do that we just don't want to do. And why can't physical fitness be one of them? It'll make you a better person. You'll feel much better in the long run. It's not even going to kill you. I'll tell you what's going to kill you. The diseases that's going to come about from a sedentary lifestyle, if you have one, diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity. So many people have been so accustomed to being inactive for so many years, and those are the same people who have built up that momentum to take full advantage of a sedentary lifestyle. And if you know what that advantage is, please leave it in the comments below because I'm still trying to figure it out. Excuse number three. Oh, oh, I can't work out today. Oh, I have a bad shoulder. Unless you have a crippling disease or something that physically prevent you from even being able to move, I get it. However, a bad shoulder, that's not an excuse to not work out. You know, if you have a bad knee, do dumbbell curls. If you have a bad arm, run on a treadmill, do something. And just to let you know, if you do have a sore shoulder, physical activity actually helps accelerate the healing process. Why aren't you in physical therapy then? Those of you who are struggling with a bad back or a bad knee or a bad breath, well actually bad breath is not an excuse, just wear a mask when you go to the gym, do something. Hey guys, do me a favor. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button and click the subscribe button below. That way I know you like it and that way you won't miss any new video content that comes out. Thanks much. Reason number four, I am just not seeing any progress. And you know what? Hey, I get it. I've seen it time and time again. Don't worry about it. Went to the gym, became a member. You spend your money and you've been a member for months. The best way to get around that problem is to actually start going to the gym. I've been to the gym, I was there last week. That doesn't count. I'm talking about consistently going to the gym a few times a week for months. You need consistency and you need discipline. Just as you wake up every day and just as you comb your hair, for those of you who are not hair challenged, physical activity also needs to be factored into a daily routine. It's just something that needs to be done. Reason number five. Oh, the gym is just too intimidating. <laughs> you know, you're new to the gym. You've never lifted weights before. You don't know what half those machines are. And to make matters worse, you walk in and everyone has this chiseled, ripped body. Everyone's in perfect shape. And you're the only one carrying the extra 50 pounds. I have news for you, my friend. Who cares about what people's impressions of you are inside the gym? I don't care what people think about me. And to... Further my point, only thing people are looking at in the gym are themselves. There's mirrors all over the place. Nobody's looking at you, they're looking at themselves. And if they're not looking at themselves, they're looking at the phones. So do yourself a favor, my friend. Get over the fact that you might feel as if people are gonna be looking at you and they're judging you. Because most people in the gym have yet to get over themselves. And unless you are planning on walking to the gym wearing a mirror costume, no one's going to even pay attention to you. The only time they're gonna pay attention to you is when you start making progress and then people will notice and they're gonna start asking you, how did you do it? What do you eat? What is your workout like? So there you have it folks. Cut the excuses out today. Today is the day you say enough with the excuses. 
No more. I am going to start doing it. 10 minutes a day. Take a brisk walk. Do something. Your body is like a car, and if you neglect it, it's going to break down on you. And there's nothing more important in life than yourself. So take care of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be talking to you in future ones. So long.